Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of June the 6th, 2024, a Thursday. So I hope today was a strong evidence for the fact that Remec Premium is highly useful for us here and no need. Just go back to yesterday's video if you haven't watched it, I'm sure you have. And let's review what happened and what happened just proves that or at least provides strong evidence as we say that what we do really makes sense here. Okay, so ES, measured move we talked about yesterday. Look at the chart. No comment necessary. Long trade, analysis of bottom tails. It was not rocket science, by the way. There's nothing special in this. Look at where price is now. So that's one great money-making opportunity provided to you by Remac Premium. Let's look at the NQ, which is, as we said yesterday, is very similar to the ES and in fact the action was spectacular look at this another great opportunity identified remember what we said about the breakout area being violated by the market as a standard practice please put this in your book if again you haven't if you haven't seen yesterday's video go back there's good lessons there and be aware of these structures and this is, by the way, this is the exact reason why for successful trading, we don't want to fiddle with the details. You just have to keep your stop away. That's all. That's the secret. Uh, success in trading is counterintuitive. What feels comfortable is usually the wrong thing to do. Just remember this. So you always move towards pain. What doesn't seem to make sense in trading, that's what usually is what makes sense. And keeping the stops out of harm's way, of course, is what works in trading. Look at this action on the NQ. The YM is also a good lesson since yesterday, another market where we were exactly right in what we said last night, which is that there's no reason for being short on this market. Um, I'm not sure if actually it was included in the video. If not, then forgive me, but I did talk about it and then the video was edited because it was too long already. But what we said is that this is not a bear flag that I'm interested in. And look at this. This is not a bear flag that any of us should be interested in. Actually, it's a long trade on the four hour chart already. And also, we don't want to go short necessarily on the YM when the NQ and the ES are bullish. It could happen in history, but not something that we should pursue. Now, as to RTY, this is the market where we haven't missed anything yet. Look at this. The next, this is sideways, and the next probable or likely move is towards the upper edge of this range, at which point something will happen. That's another trade. That's another business. You can also consider a long trade on the RTY. All right. And then currencies was the other market. Not much happened, so I can not report anything dramatic is the same thing as yesterday. The setups are valid. If you're long or in any of these trades, then I think you're in a good trade. 6A, 6N, and the 6S is what we looked at last night. Here we go. All these setups are still good and still worth pursuing if you have the resources apart from the indexes, but I would guess most of us are focusing on the indexes. One note about the Swiss franc, again, it was mentioned in yesterday's video, and this is how we track and pursue opportunities on the market. This is a consolidation area, otherwise called bull flag, being built right now. This is what we talked about in the video, and look at that red candle. This is what's happening. And the last market we mentioned yesterday was Bitcoin. The action of today is in consistency with what we said last night. This market is pushing higher. So Remac Premium, I think there's no doubt it adds to any trader's activities, adds value to what we do here, and the opportunities are right in front of our eyes right now. So good stuff happening. I'm glad it is happening the way we forecast, and I hope it helps all of us here. Thank you very much. We'll be back in the morning, and until then, mindful trading.